Hello everyone, welcome to Wellness Wednesday. This is Selena here, and we are on our final series, or final video of this series of opening our door to better health, tapping into our innate healing system. And this week we are going to talk about stress. And stress is one of those things that we can have all the right foods, we can be doing the right kind of activity, we can have in the environment in check, and getting the right amount of sleep, but if we have stress, it's gonna throw a wrench in all the work that we're doing and it's gonna keep us from achieving the health that we are striving for. So stress is one of those non-negotiable factors. We have to have a good stress management techniques going on. So then also the thing with stress is that it interrelates with every other one of those factors, whether food can be a stressor, our environment can cause stress, our sleep patterns can be a stressor and our activity can be too much stress for our body. So not only is it the uh, non-negotiable, but it also plays right alongside with each one of those other factors. So this one here is one of the most important things that we need to do and we need to look at all areas of our life as to what could be potential stressors. Now besides those four things that I mentioned, and we kind of touched a little bit on this last week about environment, is stresses in our life. Are we in a situation where we have a lot of tension going on or are we have a type of stress in our life where some stress is good for us? Is it what's helping to promote the health and, and longevity and rejuvenation, especially in our life? And so we need to look at all areas of our life, whether it's our work, are we having extra stresses there? Is it in our family? Is it in our home? Is it in the kind of foods that we eat? All of those things are going to contribute to our health and they can impact it in a very negative way. So one of the things that we can do, which kind of we've touched on some of the other things about how can we fix stress in our life. One of them is recognizing what is a stressor in our life, just being aware of relationships or jobs or tension on our drive to work. Um, being aware of those things and reflecting on those. At the end of our day, we need to take an inventory of what kind of stresses did I come across and am I carrying those with me into my next day? So unloading those burdens whenever we go to sleep so we can start afresh the next day with a clean slate and address any of those stresses the next day instead of carrying them on us overnight. So one of the things that I like, and I've posted this quite frequently, is a video on YouTube and it has really relaxing music and it helps me to kind of refocus and you know reflect on my day so that I'm ending my day, whatever the stresses may happen to have been, the challenges that day, but I'm not going to carry them over into the next day. So I'm gonna post a link to that video below. Another thing that I use is a salt lamp, which this one helps to wake me in the morning and get me going in the morning so that I can start off my day on a good foot so that I can deal with these other stresses, whatever happens to be, you know, come across that we just don't always know life happens. And so we can plan to have, oh, I'm going to have the right activity day and the right foods and everything's going to be great, but then something happens that we don't have control over. So these things help me get started. So whenever I'm faced with these challenges, then I can handle them. And that's the thing is we've got it's not that we have to completely avoid all stresses, although we need to minimize them, but making sure that our body is able to handle those stresses when we are faced with them. And that ends this part of this series. We're gonna still continue on talking with other topics. And I hope that you have these five core ways to help your health, that you can start your new year with on the right track and on the right foot to restore your health. And if you have any questions, um, any comments, I love to talk with others. Be sure to make sure you comment down below. And I look forward to talking with you all next year. We'll see you later. Bye.